Hello and good evening. Today it is Sunday, January 10th, 2021. And for this video today, I will be sharing my thoughts on the 2021 World Junior Hockey Championship gold medal game. And I will also be taking some time to share some thoughts and other things about this tournament as well. So I did say to my regular viewers, if any of you watched my weekly roundup video that was super late, that I uploaded a few days ago, I believe on Thursday. Um, I said that I would do a bonus video about the World Juniors, so this is that video. So I'm going to start with the um, tournament itself. Uh, a huge, I want to give a huge shout out to the IIHF. The fact that they made this tournament happen under the circumstances that we are unfortunately in right now with this pandemic, I think they deserve a lot of acknowledgement they deserve a lot of praise because not only did they do a great job with the protocols and running this tournament, in my opinion, but you know what? It was so damn nice to have some hockey to watch over the holidays. That was a really, really nice um, Christmas gift from the IIHF, in my opinion. Now, Unfortunately, Edmonton and Red Deer were supposed to share hosting duties this year, but obviously with the pandemic, that wasn't going to happen. So what they did instead is they had all of the games played in Edmonton's arena. And Edmonton has one of the best ice surfaces in the world. And you know what? They made it work. And even though they didn't get to play in front of fans, I'm very impressed that they pulled this off and they had all the players and all the teams and all the staff, coaching staff, equipment managers, etc. They all went to Edmonton. They all quarantined beforehand and they made this work. But one thing I am hoping for is that once this pandemic is over, I hope that the uh, IIHF will allow Edmonton and Red Deer to be given the hosting duties again so that they can actually enjoy this tournament by allowing fans in both cities arenas. You know, I feel bad for the hockey fans in Edmonton and Red Deer that did not actually get to see this tournament in person. Now, do I think it was good that they played without any fans? I think that was probably the right thing to do, personally. Now, I know there are some sports that, such as the NFL, that have had uh, physically distanced seating arrangements throughout uh, the NFL season and even a little bit in the Major League Baseball playoffs. Uh, but... Um, I don't blame cities and teams for deciding that that's not a good idea right now. So they made this tournament work, and in one division, I believe it was Group A, you had Canada, Finland, Slovakia, Germany, and Switzerland. And in the other division, or the other group, you had the United States, you had Sweden, you had Russia, you had the Czech Republic, and you also had Austria this year. So... In the American group, it was very interesting to see the Americans, Sweden, the Czech Republic, and Russia. After the Americans lost to, I believe, Russia, the Americans were great after that. And in fact, to be honest, I predicted before the tournament started that the Americans were going to win the gold this year, and I was right. Now, as I say that, did I want the Americans to win? No. Why? They were playing my country, Canada. Of course I want my country to win. Come on, let's be honest here. Um, but yeah, it it was interesting in both groups. I was very happy to see the German team actually get past the round robin for the very first time. Uh, Stutzel looked really, really good. And if you are an Ottawa Senators fan, you should be excited about that guy. I think he's going to do very, very well in Ottawa. And with the way Ottawa has played in recent years, they need a guy like Stutzel real, real quick. And also they've got Matt Murray coming from Pittsburgh too. So hopefully Ottawa is a playoff competitor moving forward. I, I really hope that's the case. Um, it's time for a Canadian NHL team to win a Stanley Cup for a change. It's, all, it's not like it hasn't been almost 30 years or anything since the last time one of our Canadian teams actually won the Stanley Cup. Be nice to see that uh, drought come to an end real soon, as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, back to the tournament. Um, 
I was surprised at how poorly uh, the, the Swiss played this year. And usually the Swiss always give Canada a real run for their money more often than not, where they play in usually close games. Um, Canada spanked the Swiss 10-0 this year, which really shocked me. And also I felt very bad for the German team when they had to play shorthanded and have nine of their players sitting out due to COVID protocols. And they got destroyed 16-2 by Canada. But what made me very happy was the fact that they actually, they actually managed to defeat the Swiss. They actually managed to get past the round robin for the very first time ever. And if you are a German hockey fan, you should be very proud of your team this year because I thought they did very well. The fact that they were shorthanded at first, then they got some of their players back and they actually made it past the round robin for the first time. That was pretty cool. That was one of the biggest highlights of the tournament for me. The biggest of all was the fact that this tournament actually happened in the first place. Also in the round robin, the Americans were great after their loss to, I believe, Russia. Uh, Sweden, I was surprised. Once they lost to Russia, that team imploded. Then they lost to the Americans, I believe, 4-0 on New Year's Eve. And then they lost to the Finns in the quarterfinal round. It... Sweden had their round robin winning streak brought to an end. And then after that, they just collapsed. And I was not expecting the Swedes to lose in the quarterfinal round, yet they did. So then you had the uh, medal round. So in the quarterfinals, Canada played the Czechs. Canada won. The Americans played uh, Slovakia. They won. Germany played, I believe, Russia. Russia won. And then you had Finland and Sweden, and Finland upset and defeated the Swedes, which was very surprising. Um, in terms of the uniforms as well, I noticed that Canada did not wear their red jersey with the black shoulder yoke and the black stripes, which is great. Um, their heritage uniform's not perfect, but it was so nice to see Canada wear a bright red uniform that wasn't dark and drab. A uniform with some beautiful contrast. It's about time. And Canada only wore their white uniform once. So with the pandemic, I think all the teams, especially Canada, decided, okay, we are only going to have one colored uniform and one designate and our designated white away uniform. With the exception of Sweden, who wears royal blue or yellow and i actually don't think sweden even wore their blue jersey once this year which i have to be honest that disappoints me because as much as i love seeing sweden in yellow or gold whatever you want to call it um i do like it when the swedes at least break out the uh, royal blue at least once or twice as a secondary uniform which i think is nice to see that but yeah that i think with the pandemic all the teams decided to wear uh, one colored uniform and one white uniform with Sweden, of course, being the exception. Eh? So another thing too, Canada did not wear their black alternate uniform this year, which I found that interesting as well. I mean, I'm also starting to wonder, has Canada made the heritage uniform their uh, new third jersey moving forward? That would not surprise me. I actually would rather it become their primary red uniform and retire the red uniform and keep the black as a third for a while. I actually don't mind their black third jersey, even though I do wish that it had some more white accenting on it, just to make it a little bit more bright. I think it could be a little bit brighter, and if they did that, it would actually look pretty good. So, you go into the semifinals, Canada spanked Russia 5-0 after Russia spanked Canada 6-0 in the round robin a year ago. As I said a year ago, I thought that Russia spanking Canada 6-0 was the best thing that could happen to that team. I was right, because Canada ultimately won gold last year. Then, you fast forward a year later, I could not believe that Canada spanked the Swiss 10-0 in the round robin. Usually their games are actually close a lot of times. And I couldn't believe that Russia got spanked 5-0 by Canada in the semifinals. 
Also, I was hoping that those Finns were going to upset the Americans so that Canada hopefully had a, maybe a bit of a better chance at a gold medal repeat, but obviously that didn't happen. Then you had the bronze medal game. Finland defeated Russia. I believe, I, yeah, I believe Finland did. Um, actually, I can't remember. I don't even, I don't even remember. I'm having a brain fart here. Let me check that out. I, um, I don't want to end this video without knowing that for myself. I, I can't remember. I honestly don't even think I checked who won that. Um, let's see. So, um, I got to check this. So bear with me for just a second. So, okay. Finland, uh, beat Russia four to one. Okay. Sorry for that delay guys. I just, I didn't want to go on in the video without knowing who won the bronze medal. I completely forgot to check the score of that. Uh, my bad. Um, Canada played the Americans in the gold medal game, and it always seems, there's two things I noticed. Number one, the Americans I noticed more and more have been wearing this beautiful white throwback in recent years, and they've been doing it more and more. And another thing, I noticed the Americans have won the gold medal at least twice now wearing this throwback. And I honestly hope that the Americans eventually just switch to this and it's royal blue match full time and go back to these because I don't know about you viewers out there, but I think these are some of the most beautiful uniforms in international hockey. Those American uniforms are absolutely fantastic, as the hockey guy would probably say. Um, but yeah, this was also one of the nicest uniform matchups I've seen in an international game in, let's just say, quite a while. Um, both uniforms looked great. But I do agree with my uh, viewer, Windy City Hockey. The red heritage uniform you see Canada wearing here does look a bit like a Walmart fashion jersey. Um, I think the Maple Leafs on the cuffs of the arms definitely needed to be at least three or four times the size so they were more prominent. And I also found that even though the Maple Leaf style socks were a nice change, I actually think it would have been nice if they just had a solid waist stripe or a single white stripe on the socks. And I think I would have made the waist stripe on the jersey twice the size and had that same single stripe at that same size on the sock as well. Um, but overall, I'm just happy that Canada actually had a red uniform that wasn't covered in black without any white accenting. That was great. But anyways, to the game, the Americans won 2-0, and I couldn't get over how good the Americans were able to shut down the Canadians. I do think that if Bowen Byram did get that goal, that this game could have been a different story because of just how much pressure and momentum Canada had for the final half of the game. I can't believe that the Americans shut them down like they did. They really, really did a great job. And to you American viewers out there, a huge congratulations to you. Your team was definitely the better team, in my opinion. And the way that they were able to shut down the defense, that was for, was the reason why I think the Americans definitely deserved the gold medal this year. Am I disappointed? Absolutely. But, you know, i got to tell you, um, Canada poured their hearts out on the ice in that game. I was able to get home from work on Tuesday night to catch the second half of that game. And I must say, I cannot get over how well the Americans, or how good the Americans were in terms of their goaltending and their defense. They were able to really shut the Canadian team down. And I must say, if you're an American fan or an American hockey fan, yeah, you get what I mean. Uh, you definitely should be very, very proud of your team, in my opinion, because I can't, I still can't get over how the Americans completely shut the Canadian team down because. From what I saw, from my observation, the second half of the second period and the entirety of the third period, Canada had all of the pressure, all of the offense, and all of the momentum. And the fact that the Americans were able to shut that down, Canada could not get anything going with the exception of that Bowen Byron play that unfortunately hit the post. Obviously, you can tell I'm biased because I'm a Canadian, eh? Um, this game was disappointing. I mean, it was disappointing to see Canada lose to the Americans and to lose in general. But I must say, um, I was very, very, very surprised that the Americans were able to shut our team down 
as well as they did. Uh, it was a very, very, very impressive win by the Americans, in my opinion. And it was a really rare situation for me where there was nothing about the game that frustrated me in terms of bad refing or anything like that. It, there was nothing like that. All it was was that the Americans were able to take any of Canada's plays for the most part, with the exception of Bowen Byram's uh, backhander that sadly hit the post. And what the Americans did was, you know, they were blocking so many of Canada's shots. Canada just didn't seem to be able to get anything going. And something else, too, that I think played a factor into this game, too, is the fact that Canada up until this point, has been playing European countries. And a lot of European players, especially junior players who haven't played in North America yet, um, the ones that, there are a lot of them from other countries that do play in North America, play in the Canadian Hockey League or the or college hockey, mostly the Canadian Hockey League, though, I believe. Um, but the thing is, they're used to more of a skill-based game rather than a physical-based game where with less skill and less ice. And it's more there's a lot more hitting and fighting in North American hockey than there is in Europe. So Canada, when they're playing on a smaller ice surface and playing the traditional North American style hockey, I find a lot of times they play against the, these European countries a lot of times, and they don't always win. They don't. That's a fact. But a lot of times I think that when they play the Americans, they play another country that actually plays the same North America style of hockey they do. They play the Americans and then they get overwhelmed because their style of play is a style that the other guys, the guys in white here with royal blue and red accents, are used to. And the Americans, as I, I actually coincidentally said this recently in a Nordic 97 live stream. If you don't know who he is, he is another YouTuber. Um, but I, as I said to him, I, I find that the Americans are like a little brother that always has something to prove. Where Canada is the big brother who always gets all the attention. The Americans, in my opinion, are always that little brother that has something to prove. And they don't have the same pressure that Canada has every year to perform. I mean, you... You look at all of the World Junior Championships hosted in Canada. Canada always plays in front of sold-out crowds for the most part. I don't think I've ever seen Canada not play in front of a packed, sold-out crowd in any World Junior Hockey Championship game uh, hosted here in Canada. In fact, they turned Buffalo, New York into Buffalo, Ontario the last time the World Juniors were in Buffalo. <laughs> so that, that tells you something. But yeah, I mean, I think when the Americans have less pressure than Canada too, I think that also makes them make it makes it a lot easier for them to be focused. Which if you're you're an American, that's a good thing. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. I'd love to hear how other how you viewers out there felt about this game, but a huge congratulations to the Americans. Even though obviously as a Canadian, I'm very biased and disappointed that we lost. I must say, the Americans deserved that win. The, their ability to shut down the Canadian offense was just incredible, in my opinion. And they deserve all the credit. And congratulations to the Americans. That was a well-deserved gold medal winning game, in my opinion. But anyways, until my next video, you guys, take care. And as I, all, I, as I always say, my bad, tripped on my tongue there. Uh, take care. And as always, bye for now.